Hey guys, it's Brittany and in today's video, it's a fun one. I am going to be showing you guys a few of the items I grabbed up from Japan and this little bunny right here has stolen my heart and this video is only going to be about mythy items, mythy things. So if you are interested in mythy, continue watching. And this item, this shirt, I can actually link up. So if there is anything that I show you guys in the video that I'm able to link up, I'll have it in the description box below that you can easily access it. But let me show you um, this. <laughs> this is packed full, completely full of just mythy goods. Um, I will do other videos because we did go to a few of the Pokemon centers. We did have dinner at the Kirby Cafe and there was things that I grabbed up from those locations as well. So we're going to be doing these unboxing type videos in little groups. I just really wanted to do Miffy today because there are so many Miffy items and I want to go on ahead and start using them, but I need to film it first. So continue watching and I hope you enjoy. All right, so here we go. I wanted to just show this Miffy shirt again. I purchased it at Uniqlo and I grabbed a medium. It's from the Peace for All collection, which is sold worldwide at all Uniqlo locations. Um, I probably should have went with a small, but this was a really handy shirt on the trip. I was able to wear it as a night shirt at nighttime, um, but I really love it and it's Miffy themed and it's very cute. So I can link this one. You will see it in the description box below. And of course the suitcase. This is something that I seen on Instagram and I wanted it so badly. And the first two stores that I was told it would be at, it was not there. So I was getting worried. And then at Tokyo Station, I saw it at this one store. And then after that, I started seeing it everywhere. It comes in other colors. But I went with this one, which is more traditional, more my style, and it's very cute. So it has this locking system like this, and it is packed full of Miffy. Um, I do like the suitcase. I'm hoping you guys can see it, but I like the design on the inside because it's flowered and it has Miffy. Once I unpack everything from this, I will be able to show you guys a little bit more of what the suitcase looks like on the interior. But let's just go on ahead in and see what all I grabbed up. In Japan, clear folders are really popular and they had so many styles of Miffy ones. I went with this one. It's a little bit different because it's brown with the white instead of white with the black. And I'm really excited to use this to just keep like receipts and maybe whenever I'm traveling in the future, I could keep all the papers for like hotels inside of it. But this is one of my first purchases in Japan. Then at Don Quixote and the Miffy stores, the Miffy flower shop, the Miffy style store, they had bath bombs. I was not expecting it, but the moment I see Miffy bath bombs, I had to grab some. So let's see how many I grabbed up. I did pretty good. I only have four. I have two of this one that does a rainbow design. And then I have two of this one that has a mystery Miffy item inside. I really hope I could find these online. If I do find them, I'll have them in the description box below. I'm hoping somewhere like Yes Style might have these because they are super cute and I love Miffy. So this is something that I would love to get again before my next trip to Japan. And Yes Style is one of those websites that has a lot of really good Japanese items. And it's at a pretty fair price point for shipping and the international benefits that you would get for ordering it online. Then is another Uniqlo item. It's a pajama set that has a sweatshirt that looks like this. It has two little Miffy bunnies and it says, and after that they went to bed, it was quite late of course this was on sale it was like $15 off I think they were trying to clearance them out I should have grabbed more because they had three other color options but I went with this one it's very casual it's very cozy and it's something that I could wear honestly anytime I could wear this sweatshirt with a pair of shorts or wear these pants with a bodysuit because they don't look like pajamas once you put them on but they're definitely more loungewear then I grabbed up slippers Something to point out is in Japan, a lot of stuff is one size, including clothing and shoes. 
So these were one size. They fit me great. I wear a seven and a half in women's like sneakers and sandals. So if you're around that size, you'll fit great in Japanese uh, slippers because that's around the size range that these seem to fit perfect for. But I grabbed these up and then it did rain quite a bit in Japan. And the moment I bought this, it stopped raining. But this is a really good umbrella because it's an all-in-one. You could just use it to help keep you cool or help with UV rays. So this is something I might start incorporating into my lifestyle here in Florida, just using an umbrella to keep the sun rays off of me something they do in Japan, and maybe it's something I should be doing over here along with wearing sunscreen each day. A couple other little miffy items is this cute coin purse. The inside of it looks like this, little satin design, and then these little washcloths are really popular in Japan because a lot of the bathrooms do not have the like hand blowing machines or paper towels. So you'll see a lot of people with a little handkerchief like this to dry their hands off at the bathroom. So I have quite a few of these, but I only bought one Miffy one. At the Miffy flower shop with my purchase for like an extra 100 yen, I was able to get this little tote bag instead of a plastic bag or a paper bag. So I went with that and I really like this bag. It's very cute. I used it a lot. I need to actually steam or iron the straps of the bag because it did get wet a little bit and that's why it kind of crinkled up here. But it is a linen bag that says the Juice Garden Mithy Flower Shop. There is a lot of stationery. I'll do that at the end, but here is some of the beauty items. I grabbed some nail files. And then this is something really popular to help with just flyaway hair, but also the Japanese girls use this on their bangs to keep them in place. It's Miffy themed, so I had to grab it up. I got these both at Don Quixote. This is another Don Quixote find, but you could get this pretty much anywhere that sells Miffy items. It is a neck pillow for the plane. It is super soft. It has that microfiber in it. So I really enjoy that, but I did use this on the flight home. This little guy right here is one of those little mystery machine things, and it makes a Miffy. Here is a Miffy hair clip. I really like using these when I'm putting makeup on. So I have this one, and I also grabbed a few that were Kirby themed, but this is super, super cute. And this was from the Miffy shop at Tokyo Station. Another Tokyo Station find is this little keychain, and it's in this really cute green color. And then I grabbed a lanyard at the Mithy Flower Shop because I really need something like this for future cruise ships to hook the uh, boarding pass on and then your like room card. But also a lot of people use these type of things for their subway ticket uh, cards on subways in Japan. So my next trip, maybe I'll use this whenever we are taking the subway. But I went with the strawberry pattern because I was obsessed with strawberries on this trip. This little pin was from a mystery pack at the Mithy Flower Shop. My goal is to put these little pins on my backpack so I can have a little styled backpack. If you've seen my backpack, it is just a basic beige color canvas backpack. But I do have a few of these pins from the Kirby Cafe and then a couple from the Pokemon Center. So I'm gonna try to decorate my bag with pens for the future. And now here is the stationary items. There is this little Miffy pen that when you press her little arm stance. And then inside here, this is from Miffy Style, which is over at Tokyo Station. I grabbed a few masking tapes. This style has Miffy's face on it. And then this style has just little flowers that say Miffy. I grabbed this little notebook that I can just jot things in whenever I am out and about or if I'm running an errand and I just need to make a quick list. And then I grabbed this sticker because my phone is the iPhone 15 uh, Plus and they do not make phone cases anywhere for that phone, especially in Japan. They only had the basic 15 uh, case, but they didn't have the bigger one. So I'm going to use this and stick the sticker on the back of my phone and then put a clear case from here in the U.S. on it to protect it. But it's a really cute sticker that has Miffy bunnies all over it. As you can see, the zippers have a little Miffy charm on it and there is a pouch right here 
that you can store things in and it also has the same charm. And then you have all this extra space and straps. In the design, you see there's flowers and little Miffy. The suitcase just has so much detail to it. I wish I could get the bigger one because they have a giant one in this. But with TSA in the US, they are so rough with suitcases, I wouldn't want them to damage it. So I just grabbed the carry-on and this is the perfect size to fit overhead on the planes. So highly recommend this. If I can link it, I will, but I don't think I'm able to because it is just one of those things that was already pretty hard to find in Japan. So I feel like it's gonna be about impossible to find on the internet. But yes, that's all of my Miffy items. So that is all of the Miffy items that I grabbed up. Of course, in the description box below will be links that are available as well as my other social media channels. So if you are wanting to see some of the things that we got into in Japan that don't make it to a YouTube video, you'll be able to see it over there at my Instagram. So definitely give me a follow and let me know if you've been to Japan or if you're going really soon because I would love to hear what you're gonna be doing on your trip. So see you guys again soon, bye.